me say sorry for uh, the delayed uh, program today because of me. Though it is scheduled at 10 a.m., uh, I could see in the invitation. But uh, at the same time, I was to start a workshop on uh, degree fourth year curriculum design. Uh, so we have invited uh, almost 80 teachers from uh, various institutions for that and after completing that I would be able to come here. Uh, so first of all I would like to congratulate the juniors for joining a very very important uh, discipline. <coughs> that is almost uh, leading the country now. The pharmaceutical industry got its visibility. Pharmaceutical industry of India got its visibility worldwide. Though for several years, it has a, a recognizable place in the world pharmaceutical industry. But COVID-19 helped the country to become one of the top end source for <coughs> pharmaceuticals. So India emerged as a leader in this in almost 80 countries in the world as far as pharmaceutical industry is concerned. So this is certainly a sunrise center here and you are going to be part of it. I understand the limitations here. It is a newly started program in Krishna University. We don't have adequate labs and which we have to create. And in the process of evolving an institution, If you take part in the process of development, it becomes a lifetime experience for you. You know the beginning, you know the growth, and you can see the development after 10 years, 15 years, that when I was student, this is not there. We started this, we built this life feelings. You can make it. So, my request to all the seniors as well as juniors, to take part actively in the development process. Your ideas are very important and you have your open mind in discussing various things and how with the limited resources we can take the maximum value. In one day I cannot create or anybody cannot create all the infrastructure that is perfectly required for making it. But still, within the available resources, if we exploit properly and with the connectivity that we have, with the technology accessibility that we have, we can make many things. See, virtual labs is now a reality. You can conduct practicals on virtual labs. So there are so many organizations developing e-content. You can access them. If you have problems in accessing virtual labs or e-content, you can directly come to us. That can be easily provided in a very short span of time. And of course, the new building is getting ready and you have some labs in chemistry and other departments. Your principal is working on that to have the time from those labs to get connected to you all. Pharmacy cannot be taught in classrooms. You have to learn by experimentation. Yes, yes, rightly pointed out by Sundar Kishmigar. 
lot of exploitation is going on in pharmaceutical industry. Even when India is recognized as a major player in pharmaceutical industry in the world, we could find so many reports of spurious tonics and tablets that are exported to some countries and where this serious problem to the thousands of people are due to this. Cough syrup from three or four areas of the country. They are all damaging the image of the Indian pharmaceutical industry. We should be careful about it. We should condemn such activities and tomorrow you should not become part of such activities. Your principal has expressed his concern why you are not able to get gainful employment after completing the B farm program. I know that the entry level pay packages for pharmacy students, even in top end institutions, are not so attractive. But once you prove your talent, prove your innovative abilities, prove your understanding of the health problems of the society, then all of a sudden you will 